Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters for your basic Sorgonomics for this Thursday. What the heck is it? August 6th? That seems like a good date. Uh, but today I want to get appy here for the next couple of episodes. Uh, today I want to talk about Beam, which in my head, it's always, I, I think they play a lot around this because it also looks like Be Me, which really it fits what this is. Uh, so first of all, I think a little background on the uh, maker of Beam. It's something you can get on the iOS app store. And I think that's the only place you can pick it up at the moment is the iOS app store. Uh, but and I think it's going to be the case of, of everything we're going to talk about for the rest of the week. Sorry, Android users. But anyways, um, it, it's a pretty cool app. Uh, but we'll get into the the, the 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 maker is this uh, uh, Casey Neistat, who is a filmmaker, and uh, he's actually <laughs> actually very interestingly he's he's whoa we got the audio going. Uh, he's very interestingly um, um, very involved on Snapchat. He's always one of the people that that I bring up as uh, somebody you should check out on Snapchat if you like, okay, what should I do with stories? What should I do to be creative on Snapchat? Um, he's always creating some really interesting, you know, multi-shot kind of situations. And if you're curious, curious about what he's doing, you can actually look up uh, Casey Neistat Snapchat and uh, you'll be able to uh, see some of his Snap stories he's put on YouTube. And like I said, really interesting stuff, really fun stuff um, and, 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 and worth checking out. And, and maybe it'll help you with your creativity when you're trying to figure out uh, what to do with Snapchat itself. Well, he's of course, uh, obviously he's very into this concept of Snapchat and, and using it in, in interesting ways and very genuine ways. And that's what really led to Beam from the looks of things. Now, Beam is an app that's kind of like Snapchat with a little bit of uh, extra extra bits going on here. So there is the bit of the uh, you Snapchat and it's going to go away after somebody watches it like you're used to if you're using Snapchat. Uh, but if you go into it, it's a very simple app. Um, I, it's not widely available for you. It's got a really weird mechanism when I was getting into it. It says you have like 99 days or something like that until you're allowed in. But in the meantime, you can kind of scour the internet. Keep an eye on the, the Beam on Twitter. Uh, there's a Reddit of, on Beam Unlock Codes, and that'll get you in. Um, ask me. I'm at Sorgatron on Twitter if you're you're interested in checking this app out. Uh, I believe I'm able to generate unlock codes and, and be able to give them to you. So hit me up. Let me see what I can do for you guys there if you're interested in trying this app out. But the whole idea is you take the phone the whole it, it, they want they want an app that is genuine you're not taking selfies and seeing how you look you're not post editing you're just posting so you take the phone and you hold it up to your chest your head up against the wall if you want to take a selfie they say and it takes a four second clip that's it. It's posting. The screen goes black. You can even uh, uh, you can even game it and cover that sensor, which it works to cover that sensor, and you'll you'll feel it or hear the little bleep, and uh, it'll record. But the screen goes black. You still can't even watch it. So it's not even about getting good shots. It's about getting real shots. I did a, kind of a little bit. If you follow me on there, I held it against my chest and just kind of went back and forth here, and you see saw what I see in the studio. Um, now there's some really interesting stuff I've been noticing. Uh, I think I think it was no, it wasn't even Casey. It was somebody else. They did something where it they had it on top of a door opening and they're going through and they had it like up above their sink as they're preparing for their day. You know, very very interesting stuff. So it's interesting to see how people get creative in these uh, li limited uh, areas. But when you get into it, so here's what it looks like. Let's say it's it's very white on black kind of interface. It, it tells you this. You know, it tells you your name in the corner. You, you really kind of just get the video and that's it. Your progress bar is is, is a line around the outside. And just like just like uh, the countdown, if you have multiple videos, like in Snapchat, that line's going to be a little bit longer. Now, also, here's another uh, side of it. So if you're watching and as you're watching a video you want to react, you can tap on the screen and it'll take a selfie of you as a reaction. And now at the top of your screen, you can see a, you know, so the, in the sample they give you eight reactions and you can go check out people's reactions. You know, it pops them a little more full screen in your video at what point of video you were at in the corner of, of, uh, of the screen of their selfie. So that's it. That's really it. What do you do with that? I, I think it's a fun thing to kind of, uh, again, see how other people are, are being creative, see how you can be creative in this space. Um, 
it's almost at least like Snapchat. If you have something interesting, you can download it, put it on YouTube. So it becomes this genuine thing. And again, this is kind of in that ethereal world. What I liked with Meerkat when it first started, where if we Meerkatted, that's it. You don't have anything else. When we periscoped, kind of periscope kind of spun that a little bit because the periscopes do stick around for 24 hours. And in both cases, I can of course save the thing and put it on YouTube if I thought it was really something I wanted to hold on to. Same with Snapchat; it goes away in 24 hours. Except when I say uh, I want to kind of keep this stuff from the story and I want to do something with that. You don't have the option with this, but that I think appeals a little bit again, kind of like Meerkat. Um, I guess it's kind of your mindset on the social media. Are you to be there to be social right now? And this is a very limited way to be social, to be honest. You know, you have your video ideas and then they go away and then somebody can selfie it. And that's it. It's very right now. It's very in the moment, uh, which is really the more I think about it, really kind of mindful the more I think about it. And you just let it go. You're not you're not piling up this giant uh, stack of content. Uh, like I do with a podcast like this, like most do with their their selfies and their Instagrams. Um, and and I think it's a really fun. It's a really fun idea. What do you do as a social media marketer? Nah, just just have fun with it. I think this is a personal social media. I think that's what the separation is going to be is um, less of, you know, there's going to be a few of these platforms that are going to be less of how uh, okay, we got people into Snapchat. Now Taco Bell can take advantage of it, right? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you do have Taco Bell take advantage of something like this. You can uh, uh, selfie yourself eating a taco or something. I don't know. Uh, that, that team's really smart over there. They'll figure it out. But in the meantime, I think it's just us. It's just us users. And that's all it has to be. And I think that's really cool. Uh, so let me know what you think of this. Again, a really kind of uh, crazy concept. It's uh, uh, Be Me. If you want to follow them there, I don't think they even have a website. Uh, you can go to uh, Beam App. Oh, I just messed that up in the uh, in the in the thing. Uh, Beam App on Twitter, and they have a link to their app store, and they have some uh, commentary and stuff about uh, unlock codes, etc. Through the day, sometimes there's daily unlock codes as well. If uh, if I couldn't get you anything. And uh, a lot of fun stuff going on there. So uh, check out the Beam app. Uh, look up as Beam on the uh, App Store. Yeah, I'll link a lot of this stuff too. And some some kind of articles where it, you know we got Casey talking about the concept. There's actually a really good review over at TechCrunch, uh, kind of you know talking about how this works. And uh, and have fun with it. And and follow me, Sorgatron there. As with everywhere else, I'm Sorgatron on 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 Beam. I'm Sorgatron on the Twitters. I'm Sorgatron anywhere where it makes sense. So. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.